Hey, how you doing? It's me, Flippy. Recently, I've grown an interest in modding Fallout 4, and I've made a few mods inspired by one of my favorite game series, Saints Row. I'd like to show you them today. First up, we have a consumable Saints Flow drink that will grant you the ability to fly, run at super speed, and have fall resistance for 30 seconds. There is a lot of work that needs to be done with this, but until the GEC is released, there's really not a whole lot I can add to this. Implementing an actual super jump seems impossible at this point, but it should be easy once the proper tools are released. So most definitely I'm going to update this at some point in the future, but for now all the player can really do is float around awkwardly in a broken T-pose. Also, I want to mention that the speed effect is stackable. Right now I have it set at a pretty comfortable speed, though you might encounter some frame rate issues in some areas. If you can stay within a loading zone though, you can totally drink a ton of these and go wild, do crazy aerials and whatnot. But obviously Fallout was never meant to run at the speed and you'll likely outrun the loading zone a few times, so drink responsibly. Next we have a mod based on one of my favorite weapons from Gentleman of the Row, the Orbital Launcher. It's an addicting weapon to play with, so I just had to include it in Fallout 4. Uh, currently it comes with a reskin for all combat shotguns, but I'm working on making it a unique standalone for just the launcher itself. It's just a pain in the ass to do so because of all the different customizable parts you have to uniquely assign to the weapon. So again, I'll probably wait until the GEC is released before I tackle that work. Uh, but if you don't like the reskin for all the shotguns, you can just delete the texture folder when installing. But my favorite part about this weapon is that we can use it to send Preston Garvey to the moon! Up next we have uh, the Septic Gun, another Gentleman of the Row inspired mod. This mod lets you spray Septic Sludge on people, and when you do so, uh, they run away in fear. So this next one might not exactly be a Saints Row theme, but it's still over the top. It gives you more junk ammo to use in the junk jet. This includes a baby, a kitty cat, two dogs, a gorilla, and some other items I felt like adding at the time. Currently the Havoc physics aren't yet enabled, but I don't know if I want to enable the physics because I found out that these babies can be stacked and they stick to each other, allowing you to make grotesque baby statues for your settlements. So uh, I might keep it like this, I don't know. Now, I'm not going to include a bunch of Saints Row weapons without including the legendary Dildo Bat. Well, there's nothing else to say, I mean, it's the Dildo Bat. It's beautiful! To go along with your new Saints inspired arsenal, I've included some Saints Row themed decorations for your settlement. Two flags, some paintings, graffiti, and this not safe for work photo of Shandi from her boy toy cover. Uh, so yeah, make sure you uh, put it somewhere private. Or not. It's up to you. But if that doesn't tickle your pickle, I've also included some Jim Boone paintings. You can make an entire goddamn Jim Boone museum if you wanted to. Well everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, visit my website for a link to all these mods, and follow me on Twitter for updates. Bye!